Not being able to sell your home is extremely frustrating. I get it. And it feels like you're stuck. Well, the good news is you're not stuck, but you most likely need a fresh start. Hi, my name is Michael Spivey with the Spivey and Daniel Real Estate Group. And on this video, I'm gonna walk you through what to do when your house refuses to sell. The good news is that if you find yourself in that position, then there's a cure. The cure is what I call correctly positioning your home for sale. Now here's how it works. First off, this is not the end of the world. Your house is able to sell. If it didn't sell, typically comes down to two things. Is it priced too high or is it a lack of marketing? Now, regardless on what the reasoning is, first thing you need to do is start over, pretend like you never listed in the first place. This means you at least take the property off the market for a couple of weeks. Here's why. Chances are that your home accumulated some market time. And the more market time, the more negotiable and desperate your home appears to be to buyers. Now, which house has more negotiating room? The house has been on the market for six months or the house has been on the market for six minutes? Yep, that's what I thought. The main reasoning is that you need a fresh start before you relist the sell. You'd be surprised taking it off the market for one, two weeks. When you put it back on, it looks like a brand new property. But once the property is taken off the market, it needs to be entirely remarketed. So what does that mean? New photos, a new video, new staging. So when it hits the market, it looks completely brand new. Now it's during this time that you wanna rethink your pricing. You don't create the market, the market does. And that's why you gotta listen to it. I know, I know, I'm a great negotiator, but I can't force someone to buy your house, especially if it's not worth the price that you're asking. Your property will get the most activity the first two weeks that it's listed. That's why we wanna price it right from the beginning. Buyers may come once to come see the property, but that second time, it's just not guaranteed. You see, when a listing hits the market, it gets a lot of attention, creating that urgency. You wanna take advantage of this buzz and not mess around with pricing the property too high. You see, that's probably the reason why your home didn't sell the first time. Once you've nailed down the right price, now it's time to reintroduce the property back to the market and get it sold this time around. I really hope this video helped you understand what to do if you find yourself with a house that just won't sell. If you have a house that refuses to sell or you just wanna get it sold right the first time, please feel free to reach out to the team. You can call, text, email, direct message on social media, you know, whatever works best for you. But once again, I'm Michael Spivey with the Spivey and Daniel Real Estate Group, partner with Fast Real Estate, powered by HP Realty. Thanks for watching.